Hey everyone, I recently studied the business of a microcap company where Ashish Kacholia has increased stake in latest March quarter. He invested in the company in December quarter with 1.44% stake and now increased to 1.56%. Okay, before we discuss further, let me clarify that the intention is not to invest in a company just because Ashish Kacholia has invested in it. The intention is to study the business and understand the thought process behind the investment. What made Ashish Kachulia invest in the company and that to increase stake in latest quarter? I think Ashish Kachulia has a great investment skill. I've been following his investment and I must say that he has a great knack to identify microcap companies that can potentially grow big. So it's worth studying the business where he has made fresh investment or has increased the stake, which means he still finds the company attractive. And what's in the company is brand concept. Have you seen those uh, Tommy Hilfiger backpacks and luggage? Well, Brand Concept has the exclusive license to design, manufacture, market and sell these products in India. Not only that, Brand Concept portfolio also includes license of UCB and Aeropostel. Company also has its in-house brand that it sells across online and offline platforms in India and has a very small market cap of just about 800 crore. Company has been growing at a fast rate. So in this video, we'll understand the business model of Brand Concept, its key mode, leadership, future growth driver and companies plan to capitalize on the growth opportunity along with financials and key risk. Then we'll look at the valuation analysis. But before we begin, a gentle reminder that this video is only for educational purpose. My intention is to share fundamentally strong investment ideas and then you can further build your investment thesis with your research. By the way friends, it's been more than three years since I've been sharing my knowledge and so far it's been a great journey. I know that many of you have been a part of this journey and have always supported my work. So I have decided to handpick a few people and do a one-on-one -on -one video interaction. All you need to do is just let me know in the comments how my work has helped you in your financial journey and if you have any feedback for me to improve. I'll pick some of the names and share the next step on how to interact over the video call. Alright, let's get started with this video. So established in 2007, Brand Concept is essentially a accessories fashion retail company dealing in three broad categories. First is travel gear that include your luggage, trolley and backpack. Second is small leather goods that include belts and wallet for men and women. And third is women handbag. All three of them are exciting product categories. Within these categories, company operate in two models. First is licensing model where it design, develop, manufacture, then market and sell the third party product of top brands in the segment. The top licensing brand in the segment today is Tommy Hilfiger, which is part of their journey since 2010. Brand Concept currently has four exclusive Tommy travel gear outlet in India. Please note that Brand Concept outsources majority of manufacturing part. But since it works with top brands, it maintains highest standard of quality checks. Other than Tommy, it has brands like UCB and Aeropostale in its portfolio. In addition, company has two in-house brands, Sugarush that offer women handbags, sling, tote and wallet. And second in-house brand is The Vertical where it offers luggage and backpack in more affordable range targeted towards young value seeker audience. Next question is, how do they sell their product? So they have omni-channel presence across both online and offline market. This slide gives a clear picture of company's sales channel. First is exclusive brand outlet of Tommy range of travel gear where they have four stores at the moment. Then they have bagline outlet where they sell all their brands under the single roof. Currently they have 31 such outlet. Then third channel is bagline.in which is the exclusive e-commerce venture of the company. Then fourth channel is multi-brand outlet with retail channels like Shopper Stop. Fifth channel is e-commerce platform like Amazon, Mintra, etc. Please note that out of 31 exclusive brand outlet, 20 of them are franchisee operated and rest are company operated. This map on the screen shows the presence of brand concept all over the country. If you look at the revenue contribution by channel, in FR23, nearly 47% business was from online platform and 53% is from all offline channel that include your bagline store, then Tommy exclusive store and over 300 multi-brand outlet at retail chains like Shopper Stop. If you look at company's financial growth, its sales has been growing at a very good rate. Every single year, company is posting growth in sales except for 2021 due to COVID. In last 12-13 years, company's sales have grown more than 10 times. Company's margins are also consistent in 10% range except for COVID period where it fell down. However, margins have recovered to even better levels of 12-13%. Company's net profits have grown at an exponential rate from 1-2 crore in 2017-18 to now at 12 crore. 
Company is also generating cash from operations. If you look at company's operating ratio, its inventory days have slightly reduced from pre-COVID days, which shows the improvement in operating efficiency. Company's cash conversion cycle and working capital days have also improved significantly. If you look at the profitability, company has ROE of 42.7% and ROC of 32%. Its debt to equity is slightly on the higher side at 0.8%. So overall, company's financials are looking very promising, especially the fact that it's still a microcap company. I hope you got a fair idea of company's business model. Now the question is, what is the moat of the company? So first moat is the exclusive license with aspirational brands like Tommy Hilfiger. It's not easy to create an established brand like Tommy, which is a global brand. And today many people aspire to own such brands. Second strength is company's leadership. Actually, the success of brand concept is attributed to its leadership that include Pratik Maheshwari as MD and Abhinav Kumar as CEO and whole time director. Abhinav Kumar is also the co-founder of company. He started his career with advertising and later moved on to head the marketing activity of Tommy Hilfiger India during his tenure with Murjani Group. He was not only instrumental in launching 10 different categories under Tommy Hilfiger brand, but was also a part of the core team that brought in other brands like Calvin Klein, French Connection UK, Jimmy Choo, Gucci, Bottega Veneta in India under the Murjani stable. He has been instrumental in bringing Tommy Hilfiger and the other brand license into brand concept. Then Pratik Mahishwari holds the degree of MBA from SPJN Institute, Mumbai. He possesses vast experience in the field of brand licensing and fashion gear manufacturing. He is a new age marketer spearheading the brand licensing business to become the pioneer in bags and travel gear market in India. So basically the leadership of the company has extensive experience of licensing business with top brands and that is one of the biggest moat of the company. Now let us look at the future growth prospect. Before I discuss future growth, just want to inform that I also have a close community of serious long term investor where I share one exclusive video on my weekly series. It also includes my own portfolio review and stocks I am buying. You can explore the series on my website or via the join button. Now as far as future is concerned, there is no doubt that the trend for travel is growing big time in India. Travel sector has literally exploded post-Covid. However, there is a structural growth in the travel industry over the years and today's generation like to explore places and spend on experiences. On top of this, there is a significant growth in income and spending level which is also reflected in huge growth of airline sector. This trend would result in more demand for travel gears like luggage and backpacks. Most important aspect of this industry is growing market share of organized player. Earlier the bag industry was completely unorganized with people buying local products. However, there is a significant shift where people aspire to own fashionable and aesthetic branded luggage and backpacks and hence organized players are consistently gaining market share. This image shows the growth in market share for organized player from 45% in 2019 to 57% in 2023 which is expected to grow to 60% by 2025. Not only that. There's a huge demand for accessories like women handbag, wallet and so on. Considering all these factors, brand concept is looking to grow its business at 30% CAGR rate over the next 3 to 5 year and has an internal target to reach 500 crore of sales in next 4 year. In FI23, this number was 163 crore. The question is, what is company's growth plan to achieve these numbers? So they have multiple strategies. First is, they plan to add more licensed brand in their portfolio and nurture their in-house brand across existing category and even add new categories. For instance, recently they have introduced school backpack in Tommy and UCB. They are planning to add 2-3 international brand in their portfolio in near term. Then second strategy is to increase their store count. Company intend to grow its store count from current level of 31 to 100 in the next 2 years and take the multi-brand outlet count to 1200. So that would significantly boost company's growth. Third is marketing. Uh, they have recently signed Mr. Arjun Rampal as brand ambassador and there's a very interesting TV campaign that they've done with him. Fourth strategy is to open new manufacturing facility. Company has planned to invest 50 crore in its own manufacturing facility that currently is just 60,000 square feet and the new manufacturing plant would span across 3,50,000 square feet. This development would be in two phases where first phase would be ready by mid of FR26. So that would also help them improve margin. Even in the supply chain, they have reduced their dependence on China and went more local in terms of their sourcing strategy. I hope you got a fair idea of company's growth plan. Now if you look at the shareholding pattern, since it's a microcap company, there is no FI or DI holding as they generally don't invest in microcap companies. Promoters are currently holding 48.7% stake which they have reduced over the time. But it is absorbed by HNIs and strategic investor. 
If you look at public holding, there are many HNI shareholders that are showing confidence in the company. Especially in December quarter, many HNIs have invested, including Ashish Kacholia. He further increased stake in the company in March 24 quarter that shows he is confident of company's growth. So overall, if we try to list down the key pointers why Ashish Kachulia has invested in the company, the first factor is company has a very strong leadership with years of experience in this space. Second, they have got the license of some top brands like Tommy, which is very aspirational global brand. Then financials of the company are also very promising. Company is growing at a fast rate on year on year basis and has got high profitability. Then future potential is very bright, there is no doubt about it. The craze for travel is only going to increase and today everyone aspires to own fashionable travel gears including the backpacks, luggage along with other accessories. Moreover, there is a clear shift in this segment from unorganized to organized sector and brand concept is trying to leverage this opportunity with multiple approaches including addition of new licensed brand, growing in-house brand, addition of new stores across format, focus on digital platform, then improving brand visibility with marketing and endorsement. On top of this, brand concept is just an 800 odd crore company. Its share price has also grown consistently and currently it is trading at a P ratio of 68. Now valuations are on higher side, but considering the management guidance of 30-35% CAGR growth for next 3-5 to five year and the growth it has shown in the past, and of course, there's an immense potential in the space. So there's a long runway for growth and hence company would command a premium. Of course, you need to decide if it is worth investing in the company at current valuations or not. Having said this, there are few risks that can be a key factor in anti-growth thesis. Let's have a look. So first key risk is your counterfeit product. This is unfortunately a major problem in India where you have counterfeit product for every top brand. Although it's a very small portion of overall market, but it is a risk to the company. Second is increase in sourcing cost. Earlier 100% of companies manufacturing was outsourced from China because that's where you get the top quality at best price. However, due to geopolitical issue, brand concept has reduced its dependence from China and started local sourcing in India. But this has put pressure on companies cost that got increased. However, they passed on the cost to end consumer. But going forward, it would be important to keep an eye on company's margin when they increase manufacturing from India. Then third is competition risk. There are already established brands in luggage industry that include VIP, Safari, American Tourister, Samsonite. However, the price positioning of these products is different. Tommy Hilfiger is placed above VIP, American Tourister and Safari and below Samsonite. And fourth risk is license cancellation risk. Currently, one of the key risks with the company is their dependence on Tommy Hilfiger. However, the idea was to perfect the model with one brand and then expand. So there is always a risk of what if tomorrow Tommy does not renew the license with brand concept. Having said this, it's been a 14 year old relationship and recently the license got renewed till 2026. On top of this, brand concept is consciously looking to add more brand under its license business to reduce dependence from Tommy. With this, we would conclude today's video. I hope you got a fair idea of brand concept, business model, future potential and key challenges. Like I said in the beginning, you don't need to simply invest just because Ashish Kachulia has invested in the company, but it's worth really giving a close look to the company and take a call if it is worth investing or not. Personally, I found it promising and hence discussed it with you all. Now tell me in the comments, what do you think about brand concept? Is it worth investing and how is the future growth potential? Also let me know if you want me to cover any specific company. And friends, again a reminder that if you want to have a one-on-one -on -one video call with me, just let me know how my videos have helped you in your financial journey and I will pick some of the top comments. If you find this video useful, do share it with your friends. I'll see you next video. Till then, take care.